Come on, Gus. It's a hypocr hypocritical statement, really. If you think about it, take it back 30, 40 years, smoking on buses, smoking in a restaurant. You looked at oddly if you didn't smoke. Now, suddenly, everyone needs a fucking justification. It's just silly. I mean, people come up and go, why do you smoke? I say, I smoke because I enjoy it. And if I feel like messing with them, I say, at least I know what I'm going to die of. Not smokers get hit by buses. I know I'm going to die of cats. And they say, oh, it's bad for your health and it's bad for your teeth, but... I mean, really. What is it? Well, to quote Bill Hicks, a man jogs every day of his life, dies of a fucking heart attack. Yul Brenner smokes, does drugs, sleeps with who knows how many women. <laughs> it's the life. And the other thing that gets me. <clears throat> the risk of coronary heart disease is reduced 50% by one year of smoking abstinence. Stopping smoking reduces the risk of fatal heart and lung diseases. That's a funny thing. Reduces the risk. Doesn't stop it. People always say, oh, you're going to get cancer. <laughs> Not many people who smoke actually die of cancer. Smokers have lived to the ripe old, to a fucking ripe old age. I mean, and this. Smoking seriously harms you and others around you. In an enclosed space, which you can't smoke in anyway. Smoke in the open air, I mean, you might as well have a warning label on cars or at petrol stations saying, driving seriously harms you and others around you, and the environment. That being said, not as much as cows and such, because they're the biggest producer of methane in the world. Closing thought? Non-smokers die every day. Tell St. Peter at the Golden Gate that you hates to make him wait, but you gotta have another cigarette. You gotta have another cigarette. And the next time, don't bring no filth.